What's up guys, Brad here. Today we're going to be starting our new Let's Play of Torchlight, which uh, is actually created by some of the guys who made Diablo 1 and 2. Um, and it's actually a pretty good Diablo clone. It sets out, it's actually more similar to Diablo 1 than Diablo 2, I'd say, in the fact that there's this one dungeon, you kind of go down it, it's like certain amount of levels, and it's how you uh, complete the game rather than have an axe, which uh, Torchlight 2 X. Um, ends up having the axe in them. So, pretty cool how they progress the same similar way. Um, so, we're going to start right off and uh, create our character. Um, I'm feeling the Destroyer of the Vanquisher, not feeling the Alchemist this time. I know I'm going to pick Cat. And let's just, you know what, let's just do the Destroyer. And I guess we'll do Brad's game is the same. And name it after uh, Cat I got. <laughs> Why not? slain or missing, and a darkness rising from the deep. It was inevitable that I was drawn to this place. My blades would not be still. So I made the long journey. I arrived at sunset, and while things at first seemed simple, I did not know then the shadows I would face, and the terrible power gathering far below the surface. I would discover them in time. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's uh, talk to this guy. Oh, so as your attacks are certain my work, I yeah, was a scholar member, I traveled to Torchlight to uh, study the vast supply of armor below. These creatures make it impossible to obtain the samples I need. Perhaps you have more courage than these miners. If you break the tunnels and bring me a sample of the Gleaming Ember, I will reward you well. It shouldn't be difficult to uh, look for the ember on the first floor of the mine. Okay, so it's basically first floor there. Uh, I cannot concentrate with these monsters about. If you have items to combine, you'll have to come back another time. Uh, that's just gonna probably end up getting fixed once we, uh, to the first little quest. Uh, I've such the work. Uh, for a price, I can imbue up in armor with the magic of Ember, but be worn Ember is powerful and even I can't predict its effects. I think he's just like, uh, yeah, he enchants your items. What can I do for you? Uh, so, sells gems. This guy will sell you weapons, armor, and uh, potions. Don't too crazy. Bring over here. I can't hold them back much longer. You all right, Sil? Rest here a while. I'm going ahead to finish the job. It's no wonder Master Ulrich sent for my help. The Ember Mines are overrun with these creatures. His letter was urgent, but he had no idea how dire things had become. I am Syl, and that was my companion, Brink. We'd only just arrived in Torchlight, and it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please, catch up to Brink before he gets himself killed. Alright, really quickly... Wow, this is actually really far down. I guess we can't turn up the, uh... Ah, whatever. We'll leave it like that. Can't turn up the voice acting. Sorry, we're gonna go right down to the first mine. I've arrived in Torchlight and begun my exploration of the tunnels below. These mines are vast and aglow with ember. I've never seen so rich a vein. Miners labor to extract it and take no heed of my warnings. I cannot blame them. I too could not resist the pull of ember. This ember is the same as that which afflicts me. The taint within it resonates with the corruption in my bones. I can feel it so clearly now. Blight springs from the depths and flows up through the veins. To purge myself of this evil, I must find the source. Okay. So I really don't know what I'm gonna build. Kind of similar to 
when I uh, was playing Path of Exile. We'll make this uh, guy aggressive, so he attacks a little bit more often. Um, so cool things that they added into the game is the pet, so you can kind of continue on your way journeying without having to stop. Definitely enjoyed that. Try to mana. Um, and I have beaten this game one time. I actually think I only beat it on the Xbox. And uh, I played through a bit of it. Really enjoyed it when I was playing on the PC. But I didn't really, I don't know why I didn't finish it when I was playing on the PC. So, uh, let's see. Oh. I forget how the hell to bring up the map. What is, what is the map here? All in tab. Where is map? A. A is map. Ah, I see. Not that I really. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. My bad. <laughs> we did get the uh, Ember for our first quest, though. So. Uh, I remember the coolest thing about this game when it was being talked about and released in the beginning was all the modding that. The developers are creating right off the bat for everybody. Such a cool, you know, thing out of the gate for people. And it got me excited because the game was released, I believe, in 2009. And um, it was when Diablo 3's hype was kind of at its peak for me. So I, I wanted to do almost anything I could to get any little brand new glimpse of a Diablo type game. Which, uh, well, this was it. Uh, once you get a little deeper down, you start running into some... Whatever. But, um, I, all I remember was I was so obsessed watching the Diablo 3, like, original gameplay trailer. I loved the, um, I loved the Witch Doctor's firebomb skill. I wanted to create that within the game. Wasn't I, I never, I tried, got something that was okay, I guess, but nothing even close to what it would have been. And come to find out, well, they changed the skill so much that Firebomb isn't even close to a skill that I wanted to use. So, alright, so here's going to be a tough part. Now, I have no idea what the hell I'm building. Um, um, hmm. I'm kind of liking her slash attack. Uh, so, uh, so that's okay. I think I might like Titan Stomp. Not sure why, but it seems pretty cool. I know one thing I will be doing is well, Shadow Bowman's pretty cool. Not sure about Spectral Decay. Probably gonna end up trying to go for something like. I know, I know I'll rank Treasure Hunter up and uh, Adventure, especially Adventure in the beginning because it, it just helps you progress even further along in the game. God, I don't know what to do right now. Let's just, uh, let's go with this dual wielding. And then we'll, a little bit more defense. Does it do anything else other than just ranged? No. Just to strength and defense for now. Why not? Well, we do have that for now. I guess we'll use it. Sure. Alright, we'll, we'll do wield this for now. <laughs> Just because of the fact that, well, we did put a point in dual wielding. Alright, there's another one. Oh! Perfect. Oh, he level 3. He told us. <laughs> That is impossible. Let's 
So, as I've said, um, really loving the action RPG, and I've been having more fun. <laughs> Sad to say, I've had more fun recently doing my Let's Plays on, well, on this channel than I ever had really playing a lot of games, because I always was worried about make, doing what people like instead of like just having fun and doing what I enjoy. And well, now I've been kind of focusing more and more on what I like. Now here's a... Uh, I think this is one of the first guys we had to fight. Really? Alright. Stop. Stop making it slow. Got some fame for that. Anything good? A couple decent items. Really liking that uh, slash. Nice. Right, can we put that on? Oh, level three again. So one, two level three items. Yeah, might as well. Might as well just throw this on. So I'll probably go back to town to get some of the quests in a little bit. Maybe after this uh, quest. Or this level of mine, I should say, not the quest. Not sure if I have level of shoes or not. Got the level. fishing hole. I forget that there's like some fishing little mini game type thing. Not really sure what the point of it is. And I don't really know what the hell I'm doing right now. I, I guess that's catching when it gets close. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's just uh, get 15 for both of these. And well, kind of enjoying the slash tag. But I'm kind of thinking that in the long run, we're not going to use slash tag a lot, so let's continue with dual wielding. So I have a feeling I'm just going to go straight up dual wielding. Slash tag's just going to be our little, um, for the time being, attack. That is another thing too, it's just, I guess, similar to Diablo 2, where you find spells in the ground, spell scrolls, and you learn. Pretty neat. I gotta say, I'm, the more and more I've played Diablo 1, the more I've enjoyed it. Which is a good thing. I don't really know what, what it was in the beginning that I didn't enjoy. Compared to now, it's like I. It's getting closer and closer to being my favorite. One of my favorite games of all time. I mean, it's gonna be hard for it to pass Diablo 2, because Diablo 2 is just straight up superior to Diablo 1. But, um. I mean. Diablo 1 wasn't ever, like, you know, in my top 5 games, I would say. To be honest, probably most of them would be wouldn't be a RPGs. So yeah. All right. So the cool thing though with all of the, I guess these Diablo clones and whatnot is there's just tons and tons of like mods for game the games. If we ever really wanted to like go down that route, we enjoyed them. We wanted something a little different. Well, we can always do that. Leather cat. Now we got a helmet. <laughs> There's a pistol there. I actually have to get used to using alt again to look at items in the ground. Because, well, the longest time there, uh, 
They would just show up on the ground for me because I was playing Path of Exile. Let's see if we found any. Oh yeah, we got a couple. The ring. Put that on. Shoulders. We gotta wait for. Here's a, a trinket. Let's look at the spell here. Um, Caster draws light from any foe struck. The duration of the spell. So it's gonna heal us a bit. And then transform into a gel. I don't know. Just clicked outside of the game. I don't know what the point of really transforming your pets is, but we'll we'll mess around with it and see what you know it does. Damn. Just got wrecked in two hits. Anyway to no, I don't think it's gonna be in the game yet. Probably, maybe in the second one. Prepared items in the ground or something. So these are all gonna be similar. I'm not gonna keep everything. It's a little too much. Damn. After me, must have thought I was in over my head again. Well, she's right. These monsters are getting stronger, and I could use your help. I'm going after the fiend that was attacking Sill on the bridge. Will you join me? Yeah, we'll join. Him. But first, let's uh, continue dual wielding. And uh, go with strength. I guess we're gonna kind of go. I not sure. If I can say class cannon, because I kind of want to be somewhat tanky. Come on. Go ahead. You don't need that bow. Definitely don't need the bow. Alright, so I guess we'll try to beat this, uh, the guy he's talking about, before we go to town, and if he's right here, that is, um, and then we'll go and go to town to complete our quest of getting the Emperor. that on now. And I'd probably put this on. That'll increase our damage if we want to put it in anything. I think we're alright for right now. Going down the stairs to level 3. Combine skills to F1. Can we do that? Let's Let's see here, really quickly. Pets. Huh. Now what is doing... Oh, well we don't really have any other skills. <laughs> so it's kind of hard. But, um... Once I get another skill, which will be what? Uh, next level, I think? Yeah, once we get next level, we'll uh, have a new skill, probably. I think I'm going to go and grab... What is this? For the last two minutes. Hmm. Might not be bad. Thinking we'll go with next level. Rob, mm, tough, tough, tough. Stampede would be nice. We can go, you know, we can crash into things really quickly. Forty-eight point 
for. Is there anything in there? Hmm. Alright. We're kind of just going to go around the area completely. Okay. Oh, face. Face. I know he, uh. Yeah. Just some portal. Oh. Thank you. Alright, well, we'll go in here first. Identified staff, so I just said I think I'm gonna go with the uh, stampede. I just want to see something. Alright, so that just changes it too. pretty good right now. Damage is... For having only one... Like, not really any great items. The slash, uh... Slash attack, especially with only one, like, skill into it, is pretty strong. It's crazy. Actually, good. Yeah, we're going to town. We're going to town. We can get rid of. Oops. How do we? There we are. Don't even need to identify that. We'll identify that. It's the same thing. Let's just see first what we get from this quest. Oh, this guy too. Uh, Prez heard me. Blah, blah. Talents of Beyond Question. We have Sail. Series merging. Okay. So this guy is. Third floor. Okay. So now we have to go to this guy. What can I do for you? We found the Glee member. What was his reward? Something out of the Alright. Nothing too great. Anything you need. So basically, this is going to say uh, Dark was buried below the mines. Ember can sometimes be found in such places. So we're just going to pretty much be finding that. If I'm not safe or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So the third, we gotta fake this, face this guy, which we're in the level right now. And did we gain any? I know we got uh, two to faster attack, which is pretty nice. But I feel like our items aren't really oh, worth. Take care now. 
anything. What can I do for you? Summon zombies, huh? As of right now, I don't really know what these maps do. As I said, I played and beat the game once, but I don't remember, like, anything. That could be actually okay, but, um, I don't really want to, I don't know if I want to buy anything. Summoning stuff could be kind of cool, but not, not yet. Any good weapons here? Uh, let's see here. Damn. Some damage on that bow. Well, 107 would be bad. Just gotta get to the strength. See, it just doesn't do a lot of damage, though. It's not bad. So I think we're gonna just wait before we buy anything. Any armors that are okay? I think we're good. Oh, I could have actually, I don't know if there's a healer or not in town. Could have used that. All right, so wait, is there a way up here? There is. We will go this way. Oh. I think the fame gives you another point. Yeah, it gives you another skill point. So, uh, up the strength. And we can probably use that. It wouldn't be bad. put another point into dual wielding and one of them here just so then we can kind of you have sprung the trap. All right. as I said the nice thing about it's not that I really want this to be our uh, like a main skill or anything it's just that we can kind of charge into things so what I say. So there's our guy he's done <laughs> Let's, uh, let's just hit a fishing pole over here. Maybe we can find something decent. What? Ooh. Alright, try one more time. And then we gotta end the video, actually, because, well, we're at about 30 minutes. Alright, tasty fishing. Alright. Nothing. I'm hoping that I can get to the guy and maybe do it in, like, I don't know. If I can get this video to be just 35 minutes or something like that, and I can finish the third level of the mines, I'll be pretty happy with it. Should be able to do that. Damn, that is a lot of... That's a 
lot, lot, lot of mana to use for that skill. Another bow? Come on. Give us something that we can use. Chest in here. There might be a mace for us. Alright, so we're... Oh, we're done with this level, so... I guess we did hit our little... This is 31 minutes, so it's pretty much right on point, so... Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. First video. And uh, we will pick up right where we left off. So, have a great one.